the daily challenge is great because it's like the most even distribution of points I can get. 24k plus is a great day. You know, 16k and under, I'm throwing. What will I do today? Who knows? I actually, all right, before I get into this, I feel like I remember reading that in Chile, there are a bunch of roads that have yellow on the guardrail, but I don't know if that's true because these look like German bollards, but it don't look Germanic. It's Portugal. He's from Portugal. Is this Portugal? Are you Portuguese? Yeah, it's Portuguese. Got the parrot plates on. Rio Guadiana. Rio means river. I mean, this seems like a medium sized body of water, right? Like here? Guadiana is the real Guadiana in the room with us right now. You would assume it's pretty big, right? I mean, there's a bridge going east, southeast, over top. It looks arid. You know what I mean? So I, I'm just going to hope that I was right and that it's over here, but it doesn't. I, I don't. Uh, oh, it is right. Oh, this is it. It's right here. Fuck. Yeah, it makes sense. It's a longer. It's close enough. It's close enough. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. See, so Indonesia, I believe, right? Or is it Philippines? Gung Enterprise. What do we got dealing? We got the right hand drive in English with Chinese. What did you just say? Fuk, Ma Fu oh, Fuklu. Malaysia speaks a lot of Chinese. That's a Malaysian flag. I win. JKR. I is the JKR. I don't think that's actually. I think that's just the name of the highway system. I don't think that's the name of the road. A place called Likas, maybe. Potential. I mean, this looks pretty wealthy, right? I kind of wish I knew more about this. Wisma Methodist Kindergarten Methodist. Okay. Saba. Electricity, Penko, Saba. Ah, uh, I don't like this, guys. I don't really know where I am. I'm gonna just go because it's kind of mountainous. I'm just gonna go up here. I don't think it's Kuala Lumpur, and I have no way to bet that. Oh, it's Borneo. Didn't even think about that. <laughs> Which one of those was Sabah's on area in Borneo? I didn't know that. Good to know, should probably lock that in. I know Sarawak, you win some, you lose some. Other times you get placed directly next to a taxi that has the exact area you're at. Ari, Ari Jean. Are we in Panama? This is a Panama City blur. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, sometimes they're easy, okay. And we are, yeah, I mean, does this really matter? We're at a T intersection. I mean, I guess wrong. <laughs> okay, now look, this is a white car. Are we thinking South Africa here? Everybody's got fences or are we thinking? Okay, Lesotho Network of the Development of the Blind is a pretty crazy call. And we are going north towards a mountain. What? I didn't see where it was. I hit space twice too quick. Fuck. I don't think it matters. What? Hertzville Dental Clinic. Is this is New South Wales. Gotta be with the yellow plates, right? Hertzville. Hertzville. Do you think Hertzville is a burb of Aust of Sydney? It seems pretty big. Sydney Bay. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, you just got to find the map on the side of the bus here at Patrick Street and Bond Street. Hey, here's Patrick Street. <laughs> um, hey, here's Bond Street. I'm so good, dude. Let's go. This the Sutu one I was a little far away from really getting shafted by my no understanding of Borneo. Imagine if I just knew this area better. This is my kryptonite. So this is some gameplay from competitive that I played off stream that I wanted to commentate because it's a bad throw and then an actual good game that I had back to back. I'm going to try and yap even better about why I make decisions in this video because um, I, I realized it's kind of hard to explain things. So basically off the rip, there's a couple things I'm looking for. You see me pointing at this, the crosswalk so I know it's not Russia because Russia has a, a neon border around it and the road is awful, like really bad. And that's usually a telltale sign. It's Ukraine. It's got the worst roads in Europe. 
and I am confident that it's not Ukraine because I don't see a red car. 100% of Ukrainian street view is from a red car. And I'm looking at these mountains like, where the hell are there mountains in Ukraine? And I'm thinking Serbia might be a safe bet. Equally, kind of like the homes themselves don't necessarily look Ukrainian to me. I'm hitting them with the question mark. But I'm having trouble. I'm looking for license plates. You know it's an ex-Soviet state because of the concrete square um, uh, electric poles, and they usually have like lean-tos on them as well. But to my surprise, yeah, that's like the most southeastern, western, sorry, part of Ukraine. So it, it did look Hungarian. I mean, I was considering it for a minute, but the poles just didn't fit. So next up, these early rounds aren't necessarily important as much because you're only going to get a couple points and these ones are freebies. I mean, you can see the roof rack with the black tape. That's 100% of Ghanaian, 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 Ghanaian coverage. And then you're looking around for other things. I'm thinking, okay, it looks lush and we're going east west. I'm going to think maybe it's somewhere around Accra as a safe bet. And we both guessed the same spot. Um, you know, it, like you can really help yourself out by doing a couple of different checks in a row to help narrow things down. Like knowing which direction the road goes narrows it down to anything that's not a vertical road, anything that's not north-south. That's half the roads half the time. So really likelihood of your guess is going up. I mean, this is Thailand. Um, the, the script is Thai. I'm making sure it's not Cambodia, which Cambodia doesn't drive on the uh, left side. And there's English on the sign, so I'm like touristy area. It's not Bangkok. We get the same spot as well. I just kind of zoom in here because I'm like, I don't know if I would have chosen a different area even if I had gotten this location again. But um, you know, we keep things moving. Round four is the last round before you get extra points. And already I'm seeing some telltale signs here. You know, the vertical holes, probably Hungarian, but the fact that they're painted at the bottom pretty much locks it up for Romania. Um, Romania and Ukraine, the only two I guess and Russia, the only three areas that paint the bottom of their poles in this in this part of the world. So he nails this. I don't know, man. Um, I think it's more fieldy like and less mountainous or hilly where I guessed. So in, in the future, I'd probably just go ahead and go more north, but I'm not too mad at it. And um, this one, this one's a doozy. This one's a doozy because I'm looking at these bollards, which are a dead giveaway, but not giving me enough info because there's red on one side and this other one's just white. And I have to say, this is the big throw here. Um, there's a lot looking at this now that were dead giveaways. That windmill, this home, these are Western style things that you wouldn't find in other parts of the world like South Africa. But I was so locked on the grass being tall and the hills being wavy that I even kind of confused myself. I'm like, is that a Lesotian hill? It's not. Or is it a in Eswatini grass hill. I'm looking at these animals like, what the fuck is that? These trees look Australian. The dirt looks like it's Australian. And this home is the biggest giveaway for me. Even though it's got a tin roof, I really should have just decided this was Australia. I mean, the bollards themselves are Australian bollards, just missing the back plate of them. So uh, this is a throw and it's, I mean, he gets it spot on. So I'm not even sure I would have guessed that high up in Brisbane. I would have gone down towards, uh, uh, you know, Sydney or some area, but that's, that was, that was not good. Now Bugs Bunny's on a, on a tear. He's on a rift. He's going for gold and he's fucking up the shark head. And I am feeling so um, good about some of these guesses, locking it into Australia because you have this, this classic Australian red soil. And I'm trying to figure out where. Now I know this is Perth because, or not Perth, West Australia, because it's so red compared to anywhere else. And I know that it's arid. I know that it's a north south road and I'm trying to figure out which one it is. Luckily, my opponent didn't get it either, but I mean, there's, look, there's four roads that it could have been. And so this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about like identifying the road type you're on. Is it a highway? Which way is it going? Is it relatively straight? Like you can get rid of 80% of the roads you're glancing at there. This one I'm pissed at. I immediately recognize this as a Sri Lankan car and look around. I'm like, where in the hell is Sri Lanka looking like this? Like for real, where is it? Like somebody explained to me and, um, and that's, that's, I should have trusted myself. I'm oftentimes not good at that. And, uh, I'm looking out at these mountain ranges thinking maybe it's like the Andes, maybe it's Peruvian, but it's not tropical like Ecuador. It looks cold. So now I'm thinking Chilean and I just kind of throw it where I know it doesn't belong, but yeah, 
Sri Lanka it is, and um, good to know. Good to know. Sri Lanka always has or tends to have a a rainbow colored small street view car on the back, like a like a rocket pop. So this. Again, you know, looking at these bollards, I know pretty solidly where in the world we are. And looking at the uh, the the auto shop, you can see the language. So these are Austrian and Slovenian bollards. I don't know why I clicked in Czechia, um, but it's it's absolutely Austria or Slovenia based off of those bollards alone, with the black on the top and then red in the middle. And I'm trying to figure out where in Austria it's like hilly, but not. And it's this like enclave like all the way up here on the border of Germany. So uh, good good to know. I forget there's little areas like that. This is, again, the last round where things can go bad for somebody and it doesn't hurt. Safari.com or Safaricom, only in Kenya. Uh, this truck also only in Kenya. So not very hard uh, for anybody who knows this. And it's just up to me to figure out where in Kenya this is. Is it Nairobi? Is it over here? And I just, I, I don't have a good idea, so I hedge and it's down south. Knowing your like Central African trucks, whether it's like white with square, wing, uh, you know, uh, uh, mirrors as Uganda or black with square mirrors as Rwanda, like this really helps you out um, narrowing things down. I'm pretty proud of this guess, by the way. Um, <laughs> look, there, I've been shafted by Chile a lot. There's one lone mountain out here. There's some weird like sky distortion, but Chile often, oftentimes has like a silver white car coverage. And I'm over here looking at these mountains, seeing how cold it looks. It's, it, you know, we're in the Southern hemisphere and I'm like, all right, I got this. I just got to find a mountain range to my North that has a single lone big mountain to the South. And I start noticing these white caps on the map as we get further south and it's i mean it looks very foresty so it's not quite too far south it's not like the desert um but i i it, eh, you know you just get a feeling and i'm like this is not a road that looks like it would be too far in the middle of nowhere so it's got to be close to a main road right there's too much care done to the road for it to be truly in the wilderness and check that out i was one mountain range off i felt really good about that so we're moving into like an area where hopefully any big mistake will knock people out and we've all been guessing pretty okay so this one no nah, this one it's all about the signs and the lines baby looking around you might think it's south africa because of the lines the yellow on the outside the white on the inside australia only has white lines but Botswana, Botswana is way more desert-like and Botswana has these black and yellow poles, right? Um, it's important to know these things because they help differentiate. And look, I have no idea why he went Argentina. Maybe because the houses did look a little, uh, I don't know, South American. But I feel good about that one.